Alright. It's been a while. By a while, I mean, the last talk video I did was March 23, apparently. <laughs> this is me, you don't need to know anything other than that, and I want to talk about stuff. And the video is a, um, something I recorded from Rock's Open Lobby, the last one he did for 360, and um, it's just a random bullshit, no scope thing. By the way, on the Twitter end of his uh, FPS Freaks competition, I ended up winning, and I met meant to thank him for that for the longest time, but I just couldn't make a video of some form to uh, thank him for it, but I'll do that now. These things are like really hard to get used to, but now I've played with them for a while, it's like impossible to play without them, and it helps so much. Now I actually get onto stuff I want to talk about, which is like the transition from one game into another. And I'll just say, say, say off about right now that I do not do not hate Modern Warfare 2 like at all. I mean, like I probably like avoided like most of the rage from it by the fact that I only ever played free fall, and in free fall, like the only two things that really annoy you in free fall, or well, there's free standard camping fair, you know, all that, that commando, which really didn't annoy me until someone pointed it out, and boosters, which don't annoy me at all because they give me easy kills and allow me to unlock sit the pro and shit like that. The only other mode I really played over on that on Modern Warfare 2 was hardcore TDM, which is always fun. And I made a video for that a while back, but I never got the chance to commentate on the damn thing. I don't need to make it any obvious at all, or something, that absolutely everyone hates Modern Warfare 2, in some form or another. That's because they play TDM because they're idiots. That's like the most retarded mode I've ever, th I've ever seen. <sighs> I cannot phrase things correct for the life of me, I swear to God. But TDM is always terrible, and objective-based modes are also kind of stu stupid because, well, it, unless you're playing in a party of six, like you're gonna have people like completely ignoring st stuff and making you lose because of it. I mean, just look at Battlefield. Like, if you're, e <sighs> I enjoyed Battlefield for a while, and that was like a very short while, because I like had my uh, friend with me. And when I didn't have my friend with me, I could never win a match because I would never get a good team ever. And I was playing the objective, and everyone else was just being terrible. And you would, you would, you would never win. I just, all I did, I got to level 22, unlocked the G3, realized how overpowered that thing was, and then just stopped playing because my friend got bored of it. Now, the main thing I want to talk about, which is um, just happened like. 24 hours ago or something like that. It st st starts off, I boot up Twitter and all that good stuff, and I see a link from Gold Glove to a video, and I go to the video and it's Black Ops beta footage, and I'm like, wow. And go, I go onto the main channel and I instantly like download all the videos so I could watch them later because my internet is absolutely terrible and won't load them at all, so download all the stuff and view it later. And I look at the stuff and I notice things like the kill streaks being ridiculous, second chance being not ridiculous whatsoever, and then I notice the sniping in the game. And I'm gonna post a little video here. Um, the footage on the right is gonna be from the first strike beta, and from, from that guy's channel who I'm not gonna mention. And on the left was footage from videos I made back in the day, but never got the chance to post. And from that, you basically see that the difference between Black Ops' scope time and Modern Warfare 2 with Slider Hand Pro is not significant like at all and you have a weapon there which from the appearance of it basically works like the sniper of in Call of Duty 2 which was basically like a um, 50 cal stopping power basically killing one shot anything but the limbs and then a bit later we ha on Twitter there is the uh, latest um, Q&A session with JD2020 Josh Olin, who is basically like the Robert Bowling of uh, Treyarch, i.e. community answering person dude guy thing, and he mentions that quick scopes are going to be impossible, and mentions that it's because when you, 
But it works it in that when you ADS with the sniper rifle, it doesn't go where you point it and instead points somewhere like within the um, within the general area where you're pointing at, but not directly at it. And then instantly, like, the entire sniping community, like, explodes in rage and stuff. So I'm, like, sat there in my easy chair, just laughing at all these guys' rage because, like, I have nothing better to do because I'm generally really miserable and need something to laugh at. And, like, probably, like, the o I only see, like, three people's names who, like, aren't, like, exploding and shit, and that's, like, Trump, Hutch, and I think what he's game attack, I'm not entirely sure. Basically the reason why I'm kind of celebrating over this thing is because, in my opinion, probably say that the sniping in Modern Warfare 2 was like more it broken than OMADC, and that's gonna get me killed for sure. I mean, like as soon as, as, soon, like, as, soon as I say that, I know I'm like gonna die, but I only played free fall and like I saw a few home ADC guys but they never really um, did much like at all other than sit in some, some poor corner where I would basically ignore them the entire game. You can tell just by how I'm speaking that I'm shit at this, seriously. <laughs> basically people like complain the living crap out of OM ADC for his near brokenness in range and explosive power and stuff, but you have to remember that COD 4 wasn't that much more different, like the only difference mainly was the fact that in Modern Warfare 2 you can actually use that to gain kill streaks. I mean, like in COD 4 you have a noob tube in there, you had Sonic Boom, and you had Frag Times 3. World at War was definitely not as bad, like you, um, I mean, they split up Juggernaut into Juggernaut and Flag Jacket, which is kind of bad because not too many people use Flak Jacket, honestly, but grenade throw distances, I think, definitely think were kind of weaker in some aspects, and um, they did things like disabling your rifle grenades at the start of search or something like that, from what I remember hearing, so, yeah. I mean, like, the main reason why I absolutely hate sniping overall in Bomb Warfare 2 is I literally, like, had no reliable counter other than Painkiller and maybe Final Stand. COD 4, you had Juggernaut, and you had, well, you had Juggernaut. That's probably, like, the main thing ever that you would use if you would see someone sniping. I mean, like, that game had, like, the M48 free. I'm not gonna go into detail in that other than my friend fucking hates that weapon. World at War sniping was, like, okay. Mainly because the hitbox detection for that game was abysmal, and that you sniping was ridiculously difficult in that game. And of course, you had MP40 chokes, but we won't get into that. Modern Warfare 2 basically, you had like no defense against sniping, like whatsoever. And now I've actually done rambling around that in the worst voice possible. I can actually go on to other things I've probably heard of, like um, how I think that. Spawn trapping in Black Ops is going to be worse than any other Call of Duty game I think ever, unless the uh, maps have something to say about that. A while back, um, I used to play like this uh, freeware PC shoot 2D shooter map game called Soldat. Have, you might have heard of it. I'm not completely sure, but it's basically like a 2D platformer combined with first-person shooter elements, and it, it was really fun. And a while back I stumbled upon their wiki and it mentioned the concept of spawn trapping and how spawn trapping is considered lame in their language or in your language game breaking. COD series has done a bit to combat this during the times. I won't get into details about the spawn system because people will um, say I'm completely wrong on that one but COD 4 you had Juggernaut which helped to combat spawn trapping like all the time and generally prevented one hit kills from snipers and shit like that. World at War you had Juggernaut again and in Modern Warfare 2 you had Painkiller which was made people rage through shit out but I mean like the kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2 are like extremely powerful and are the main reason why the um, spawn trapping in that game is also kind of bad but if there was no kill streaks in that I mean these Spawn trapping in Modern Warfare 2 was bearable because of Painkiller being extremely effective in stopping it, from my experiences, but in Black Ops it seems that, well I shouldn't really say Black Ops because of the um, Activision going and 
having their periods all over be leaked beta, as you probably all have heard by now. But that game has no defense up versus boards whatsoever. Combine that with the um, footage I've seen of the kill streaks in that game and the one shot kill weapons, I predict that the spawn trapping in that game is going to be absolutely abysmal. Probably worse than any other game I've um, seen outside of maybe Metal of, Medal of Honor, because I not actually, don't actually own that game, but I've heard stories about it, and definitely not as bad as Blacklight. And if there was other stuff I was worried about in Black Ops, aside from spawn trapping and the uh, kill streaks, it's the quick scoping issue, and that may or may not fix itself. And as for what I'm actually looking forward to in the game, the main thing I need to mention is the combat training mode, which I'm still not completely 100% sure on how it works, but if it basically means that you can play offline free for all with against bots with no lag whatsoever, regardless of your internet connection, then I'm going to be so all over that mode because my internet is random as hell and I hate literally going on a good streak and then all of a sudden can't do anything because my ping suddenly goes up from 30 to like 500. Other things I'm looking forward to, no TIs in free fall so I don't need to worry about boosting a uh, flak jacket which is going to be um, probably like the main counter to, to noob tubing and, and stuff like that. I mean like, the problem is, is that no, probably other people are going to still hate on the noob tubes because they don't want to give up scavenger or cold blooders honestly. I mean ghost. Sorry. <laughs> but people aren't going to be giving up those perks for some, simply something that will just come into effect when they're getting bombarded to hell and gone. I can just sense that happening. Speaking of scavenger, I love the changes to that that they've made in that it only restores lethal grenades and ammunition. So there's, that means no infinite claymores, no infinite stun grenades, no infinite explosives in, in terms of launchers and grenade launchers and underbarrel grenade launches and stuff like that. Definitely um, liking that change. I also like how you can have both scavenger and the uh, replacement for bling without um, sacrificing one of the other like in Modern Warfare 2. I really like that. It's probably going to be like my main set of this. And probably like the main thing I'm looking forward to is the... Um, well, Strange is actually a weapon. It's the uh, Enfield Assault Rifle. Or basically, as I'm calling it, the L85. Because basically, like, ever since... Call of Duty 2 has been like no main British weapons that are actually uh, good. I mean, with the exception of uh, the L86 in Modern Warfare 2, but even then, that weapon was hard to use. I mean, it was challenging, but it was fun to use that weapon. I mean, like, that thing at close range with grip and steady aim is it's unbelievable. But I'm really looking forward to using the Enfield because of my weird patriotic streak, if you could call it that. And I've actually run out of stuff to ramble on about in my voice, which I tried to, like, make interesting, but... I just can't do it. I mean, I just can't speak in an interesting voice. I can try all I want, but I just can't do it. It's depressing. And that will be all. Hopefully I've managed to speak enough to uh, cover the length of the video. If I haven't, I will um, shrink it in places. Okay, see you on the next video, which... Actually, my next video is going to be... Probably going to be something, like, completely different. Like, I think I'm going to be posting, like, my... Basically a video where I try to uh, speed through a indie game called VVVVVV. If you've heard of that, it's a, um amazing indie game with incredible chiptune music. And um, it's really fun and really hard. It is mostly a really fun game. That'll be all. This has been One Miserable Bastard. See you all in the next video. Rest in pieces. Headshot! Headshot! Denied. Double kill!